Good morning. My name is Ahmed Merzouk. I am a PhD student at the University of Texas at Austin. And uh, today I'll be sharing some of the tricks that I used uh, in my PhD in order to make my research better and uh, leverage the AI tools that exist out there in order to make uh, my uh, my work uh, uh, of a higher quality and uh, get better ideas about how, what is going on out there in the research field. So the tools of today is going to be called Notebook LM. Notebook LM is basically um, an... Uh, notebook let's say that is provided by google and uh, it's it helps you uh, do research in a better way it's basically a personalized ai research assistant that you can use so what you can do is upload documents uh, the documents can be pdfs website youtube audio files videos it can be anything that you are interested in and <clears throat> this is what why it is powerful because it combines different sources of uh, internet and it's multi-modal so the good thing about this is you can read images it can read anything that you are maybe interested in and then it gives you an uh, understanding about the system it gives us insights and like just with one click we can get uh, an answer for us uh, we can see the resources uh, not only answer so it's going to give us with references and we can even create a podcast so create a podcast about the documents that we are interested in so let's say for example you're interested in a topic that you want to learn and you are in your way to school you can leverage this tool just to create this podcast to learn. So in order to use this, we can create Tribe Notebook LM. And once we click on that, so this is going to be the results uh, of our work. And it has 25 sources. However, I'm going to show you how to do this. But it's going to take some time. I will show you in a few. So we create a new notebook. And then this is what we're going to end up with. So we can name it Research here. So in this, you have three panels. You have the sources, the chat, and the studio. So the the sources is where you put your documents. The chat is where you put uh, you can ask questions or you can upload the sources. And then you have uh, the studio here and the stuff that you can do with, with, the, with the thing. So let's start, for example, uh, something that I want to use here and something I very, really like is a YouTube channel by Whitson Academy. It's a, it's a professor at the University of NTNU and at the same time, they are a company, so they sell software. And I really like that they have a course here that uh, supports a lot of the work that we do in petroleum engineering. So let's start, for example, by adding some of the YouTube videos. Um, so uh, we don't need this. So let's say, for example, like this. Uh, we come here uh, because we need to do it a video by video. We copy past it and uh, then add the source. We click YouTube and then we paste it like this. And it's going to interpret the video for us. So let's do this. Um, again, copy this, and then we come here and we add another YouTube video. And we can do that like for different YouTube videos and it's gonna basically work out for us. The other thing is that they have some publication here that I'm gonna download. Uh, so I will like select some of these publication, put my email here and they're gonna send it to me. I have already done that, but uh, for your case, you're not gonna need this. I, it's just where I got the papers from. So yeah, this company is great and they like provide really good educational content. So let's say we have already put the videos and then these are the papers. We, in order to put the papers, we're gonna open add sources and then drop them here. And the papers are gonna be added. Uh, so basically are gonna be start adding in here. And these are like really good papers in the field of RTA. Uh, it's called rate transit analysis. And then once the papers are all uploaded, we can start our work. So now that all the papers are uploaded, we can create study guide, we can create briefing document, we can create a timeline, and we create frequently asked questions. So the AI is going to be basically start generating those for us. And then <clears throat> what we do, uh, also we can create an audio overview. So the audio overview is like basically two hosts that are talking about the that are talking about the research of the papers, which is like a really cool thing. And then we can customize it. Like we can tell them, focus on this or focus on that. This is what I want to know about the papers. And then the AI is going to basically focus on that. So we can really can generate and this is going to run and try to generate the thing. I have already done this all. So let's come here. Uh, the, the, the generation of the sound may take a little bit of time, but let's look what we got. So we have CO, CO2 EUR study guide. So this shows us how we can look into the study guide. So we can look into CO2 enhanced oil recovery, the main point that we need to understand about this topic. And then it gives us quizzes, let's say questions that 
uh, you may have, and then with the, their answer. And then you can also have a glossary of terms. For example, if you don't understand some of the terms, it's going to create that for us. And this is like really powerful if you are not familiar with the topic. And even if you are familiar and want a refresher, this can be used by professors, students, anyone that is interested in this. And then the, the second thing is FAQ, which is frequently asked question. So it's going to read the papers and see what is the frequent information there and try to build based on that frequently asked questions. So for example, here we do have eight questions and then like you can convert uh, to source. So you convert this to a source. And then the other thing is that we can have a timeline. So the timeline is basically what, uh, what have happened uh, in this research. So uh, during the event, so who's the first one to do this? And then the second person, and then going on and on and on. And then it's going to give us the names of the main researcher. If you are like a PhD researcher, you need to know the main characters or the main people about the research that you are working on. Because the main character, if you follow them, you're going to end up understanding most of the work. And uh, you can focus on really high quality papers. I'm not saying that uh, there are uh, like the, yeah, there are a lot of, not of a high quality papers, but if you focus on the names, that's going to give you a good start, like grounding on the basics, and then you can move from there. If there are some bios, it's going to give it to us. So this is like really powerful. And then the last thing is basically briefing document. So the briefing document tell us in general what is happening in this, uh, uh, in these papers. So CO two EUR mechanism modeling. We have equation of state modeling, PVT. Uh, rate transit analysis and yeah and a lot of stuff that that exists here the other thing that we can do is chat with with the uh, with the documents that we have let's say for example how can i uh can let's say can you expand on what can we get from rta this is an example i'm just gonna go fetch the papers and then uh See, so rate transit analysis is a method used in petroleum industry. You can understand well and reservoir properties and it gave us basically the properties that we need to understand. It assesses well performance. It's, we can decouple multi-phase flow and petrophysical properties. Uh, it allows it to do history much. And this is like really accurate stuff. The other good thing is that you can click here and this takes you directly to the paper. So this is really powerful. And instead of waiting for AI to spit out things that you think are wrong you can just <laughs> ground it to papers the only limitation about this is that there are limited sources for example um, and uh, you can only do 50 if you want to do more than 50 you're going to end up need to go to the premium version or to the advanced version um, other stuff that well we can also do like it's going to suggest for us for example uh, the, the the question that we may ask let's say for example what factor uh, influence tertiary CO2 uh, recovery. And the good thing is that you can follow up. Let's say, for example, you don't understand this. Can you expand on this? Let's say, can you expand on Yeah, so it tells us uh, enhanced oil recovery is high pressure and then the operational stuff that need to, to take into place. So this is so powerful. And then uh, once we build this document, we can add them as sources. So for example, when I clicked add convert to source, we can come here and yeah, so this is CO2 EUR mechanism, which was, uh, let me get, yeah. So this was turned into a source. So, and then you can ask questions based on that and go on. Let's say if we can ask stuff about YouTube videos. So can you explain? how uh, the pro explain the process of flash calculation which is basically the the youtube videos maybe we want to understand more about that um this is still running and let's see how 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 good of a job it does um yeah, so flash calculation, uh, I think it's number one. Ah, uh, no, so this is, uh, let's see. I don't know which uh, reference is this, but it should, yeah, so K. Yeah, so yeah, the YouTube video, you see? So it got us an uh, answer from the YouTube video, and then there is a guide of uh, the key topics, a summary, 
which is like really powerful to use. So for now, since we uh, went through all the, the capabilities here, yeah, cool. Now we have the uh, the AI or generated uh, podcast. Welcome back, everyone. To so let's listen to it and let me know what you think in Today, the comments. Today, uh, we're going deep on enhanced oil recovery. EO. EO, you got it. Specifically in unconventional reservoirs. Right. So those tight rock formations that make getting oil out, well, a challenge to say the least. Yeah, a real challenge. We've got a lot of sources to work through. Um, Technical papers, research studies, the whole shebang. A lot of good stuff. All about squeezing that last drop out of these stubborn reservoirs. It's kind of like, you know, trying to get the last bit of ketchup out of a glass bottle. Oh, yeah. But like on a massive underground scale. Exactly. And today we're going to zero in on two gas-based methods, huff and puff and fracture to fracture. Right. Surface samples are giving them an accurate picture. Gotcha. So you're not just taking any old sample. There's a real science to it. Right. Now, while we're talking about fluids, I wanted to touch on their variability. So what's happening here is that there is an interactive discussion between two people. And one of the cool things that I can do is when while they are talking, I can ask them questions. So look at this feature. Within a reservoir. I mean, it's easy to just imagine. Welcome back, everyone. Today, uh, we're going deep on enhanced oil recovery. EO. EO. You got it. Oh, wait. Someone wants to join. Hey, go for it. Hello, I would like to ask you, how do can I do flash calculation? I'm really interested in that topic in particular. Well, that's a great question. Yeah, it's a fundamental part of understanding fluid behavior. Okay, let's unpack this. Flash calculations help us figure out what happens to a mixture of fluids when we change the pressure and temperature. So, like, if you have a mixture of oil and gas in the reservoir, it might be all one phase down there. Right, but when we bring it to the surface, it goes through a separator where we change the conditions. And suddenly, it might separate into a liquid and a gas? That's exactly right. And the flash calculation lets us predict the amount of each phase and its composition... So as you see, this is like really cool and really powerful. It's basically having a professor at home and then the professor is basically answering your questions. So yeah, this is basically the tool. Thank you for joining and I hope this was helpful. Have a great day. Assalamu alaikum.